Coming up on First at Four, students and staff plan to be in class for the start of the semester, but thanks to this wintry weather, class is moving online. And have you ever noticed that your mental health seems to be worse during this time of the year? Experts say there might be a reason for that, but one possible solution is relatively simple. Plus, more bitter cold is on the way by this weekend. Your first alert forecast coming up as Mountain News First at Four starts now. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News First at Four. Good afternoon, I'm Steve Hensley. First at four, another round of snow made travel tricky today and dangerous wind chills are on the way for the weekend. Our long stretch of first alert weather days continue and meteorologist Cameron Aaron joins us now with more on what to expect. Yes, yeah, Steve, we are still tracking some snow showers and snow flurries across the mountains on this Friday afternoon. Let's take a live look from Perry County from Buffalo Mountain in those higher elevations. And as you can see, more snow showers continue. That current temperature down to 27 degrees up on first alert pinpoint Doppler. We are tracking those scattered snow showers and snow flurries. Zooming into a heavier band of showers in Breathitt County, not too far away from Jackson. Also close to Hindman for Knott County and some heavier snow bands in McGoffin County pushing into Johnson and Floyd counties as well. And same story in the Big Sandy Valley, some heavier snow pockets in Paintsville pushing into Martin County, also into Pike County, Wayne and Mingo and Logan counties in West Virginia as well. Those temperatures continue to cool into the middle and upper 20s, lower 20s in the Cumberland Valley, down to 21 for Somerset and Monticello, 22 in London, 27 for Hazard and 26 over in Pikeville. Now as the moisture exits, that cold air will filter in and now our attention turns to some very cold weather for the weekend. We do have a wind chill advisory through Sunday morning for most of eastern Kentucky. We could see wind chills as low as negative 15 by Sunday morning. And those low temperatures are close to or below zero by Sunday morning, so be sure to protect those pipes and your pets. But some good news, a warm up is on the way. Those details coming up in just a few minutes. Steve. All right, Cameron, thank you. Kentucky State Police in Harlan say they received a call from a Knox County family saying Charles Robert Bobby Smith is missing. Now take a look at your screen. This is Bobby. He's 58 years old, approximately 5 feet 8 inches tall, has brown eyes, and is bald with a goatee. Troopers say he was last seen on Sasser Branch Road in Knox County. If you have any information about Smith, troopers ask you to call 606-573. 3131. Students and their instructors are already making adjustments during this spring semester at Hazard Community and Technical College. WIMT's Chandler Wilcox is at HCTC with how they are working around this winter weather. The spring semester began on January 8th on HCTC campuses, but most classes have had to operate remotely. Instructors have been hosting classes online or working with students virtually due to two winter weather systems that have blanketed much of the region in snow and ice. Dr. Jennifer Linden says all those students and staff were expecting to meet in person. The college says they were prepared to adapt. We've been talking about student issues and concerns and how we can better help them and help meet their needs because we, we don't want students to withdraw or get discouraged. You know, we, we really want them to know that we're still there. Reach out for us for help. The school also recently received a grant to expand service offerings that would help students across the region. I'll have more on that at 6 in Hazard Channel Wilcox, WYMT Mountain News. Dr. Linden says they are also pushing students to consider 12-week courses starting on February 5th. Some people in Southern Kentucky snowed in are getting help with essentials. Deputies with the Laurel County Sheriff's Office are delivering medicine to people and taking people to get needed items. Gilbert Achardo spent Thursday and Friday delivering the essentials to people out in the far reaches of the county. He asked if we could pick him up and take him to the store. He has certain foods that he has to get. People are encouraged to stay home and not venture out, especially if you live in more rural and remote areas where salt or plow trucks have not been able to reach. This deep winter freeze is no good for the life-saving drug naloxone, also known as Narcan. It's used to reverse the effects of an opioid overdose, 
but if it freezes, it can make it impossible to administer. Experts say Narcan freezes solid at 5 degrees, but it will start to freeze around 32 degrees since the majority of the solution is actually water. To ensure that the Narcan is ready if and when you need it, experts say to keep it warm in these cold temperatures. The best thing to do, I think, would be to stick it in your armpit as close to your skin as you can um, and near some large blood vessels, either in your armpit or your groin. It's, it's more extreme, it, the, the temperatures are, and the more repeated extremes that, that the Narcan experiences, um, the less efficacy it will have. Experts say Narcan can still work up to 28 days after freezing, but if it happens over and over, it does lose some effectiveness. Maintaining your mental health during the winter might be a struggle for some folks. WYMT's RJ Johnson shares how simply reaching out to loved ones can help. During the winter months, healthcare professionals say that they see more patients seeking help regarding their mental health. From cold temperatures to lack of sunlight and lack of time spent outdoors, some people might show signs of depression. Hazard ARH psychiatric and mental health nurse practitioner Suzette Miller says it is important to check on your loved ones, especially during times where leaving your home is not an option. Check on, check on your family, check on your neighbors, uh, make sure that they're okay because a lot of times, you know, we we don't realize that our mood has gotten to the point where we might need to reach out for help ourselves. Um, but if you see that in a family member or a friend, talk to them. Miller says it is important to reach out to friends, family, or even a professional because if you don't think anything is wrong, just talking to someone can go a long way. In Hazard, RJ Johnson, WYMT Mountain News. RJ, thank you. We'll have more on what you can do to help your mental health during this time of the year tonight at 6. But coming up next year on First at 4, an Ohio pastor is in court after officials say he opened his church to allow folks who are homeless to get out of the cold. Plus, we could see low temperatures near or below zero by this weekend. Those details after this break.